Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're doing your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday 24, 25, 26 for the Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is your soulmate secrets. Um, in our extended reading, we're gonna see what they're not telling you. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Uh, it's also gonna be for the Venus at the same time. All right, so it's gonna be for the Venus signs, Moon, Rising, and Sun. So let's see what's going on. Here we go. You have here Six of Wands. There is a victory with regards to the connection that you are having with this person. can be another fire sign. Um, this is after coming to, you know, like a certain trip, a certain travel, or if you went away, or it's not like going away it can be vacation, of course, but, um, you know, going away can be in a reference also when you have stepped back. So you stepping back, doing your own thing. Um, brought you some sort of confidence because this is a very confident person. A six of wands is like everybody just adores them. Someone who celebrated basically victorious. So you find your victory um, one by it's like you didn't take them with you to something, and then you felt like you know what I'm okay. Like I'm okay not because with, without them. Like you were fine just being you. All right. That's what I'm sensing here with the Six of Wands. Can be even just going out and on, on you know, with friends and stuff like that, you know. And you feel victorious, like I can do my own thing. Like I'm fun. Like I can have fun on my own. Justice card over here. From what I'm sensing, this is one, well, this is a Libra energy. While you were gone or you were doing your own thing and everybody just like looking at you like, oh my god, like you're fine, you know, you're fine. Uh, with the justice card over here, it's like, of course, this is the time where you were checked to scale it down. Where it's like, well, if I'm fine without this person, then I'm really just fine. It's like, this person's value is even questionable now. It's like, what is this person bringing in the table anyway? It's like, what do you have to offer me? Because it's like, it's not about, you know, me being complete with you. I am complete on my own. And now you have to step up the game, basically. Because, you know, the challenge of the justice card is like, left and right left and right that energy i mean not left and up and down up and down so you want them well you gotta invest in me you know is what you're saying it's like you gotta put something in this scale or else you know it's like it's cutthroat it's that you know justice is like you know just asking about the truth clarity and the connection and if they have nothing to offer then it's like the ball the scale is not balanced and someone's gonna get cut off okay You have your Knight of Swords, so they come rushing towards you, texting you. It's like, hey, what's up? What you doing? You know, it's like, what, uh, you know, it's like, what you've been, you know, like you've been out. It's like I, I haven't seen you in a while. Knight of Swords, rushing, you know, talking. It's like, um, this person has been lost. Like I don't know, you know, like this person, you can tell that they're lost because they shoot all the conversations right now. It's like, um, oh, were you, were you with friends? Oh, I didn't know you were with friends. Oh, you know, it's like anything that, uh, you know, to bring a conversation with you to connect with you they're trying because they're seeing you as someone who's raising their vibration on their own you know it's like i'm fine and here they are can be an air sign you know that you're dealing with younger also but this person is very determined to catch you off guard and not that you're going to be vulnerable basically just to get something from you um insinuate a conversation start a friction you know it's like starting a friction or something like that Mm-hmm. I have it a devil card, right? So this devil card energy can be Capricorn, all right? But this energy also is showing like how this person is attached to you or you're attached to them. Um, it's like when you do your thing, they pull you back, you know? But also when they do their thing, you pull them back. It goes both ways, Pisces, okay? So this is a strong energy where, you know, yes, lower vibration, but it can be something that is sexual, intimate. At the same time, this, uh, this vibration is some sort of addiction. Everybody knows that. Um, addiction in the sense can be the addiction towards the person uh, I mean not everybody deals with like you know um, drug addiction or alcohol or you know we have to understand that there are things that we are addicted to we don't need to define you know like the whole um, what society defines as addiction but you know it's like if you if you like for example going to the for example just you know go to the gym like seven days that's an addiction already right there because it's out of control so that's why the, the, the devil card for me is anything extra 
um, because it's out of moderation, hence it's become an addiction, and then addiction becomes dependency, and then now it relates to being codependent to the person, codependent to the situation, codependent to a lot of stuff, because you can't live without it anymore. But in reality, you are fine without it. Okay? But you just grew codependent on the connection. That's what I'm sensing here with this person. It's like there is codependency, and that's why you try to see it, your the you know you try to see the energy. If without them, am I fine? And then you figure it out. It's like well, I was fine. I don't know what their deal was. Okay, but here they are trying to rush back to you. Okay, so Pisces, I'm gonna continue this reading um, on your soulmate secrets. What they're not telling you.